The 200 meters is one of my favorite events to watch. Just a half lap of the track, short enough where athletes are sprinting all out, but long enough to still maintain a good level of excitement. Some of the most well-known athletes in history have attacked the distance and put down some of the greatest performances track and field has ever seen. From Tommy Smith running 19.83 in the Mexico City Games, to Michael Johnson's 1932 at the Atlanta Olympics, all the way to Usain Bolt pushing up against the 19 second barrier at the 2009 World Championships. Over the past few years though, we have seen some of the greatest 200 meter races in history. Noah Lyles' 1931 American record, Arian Knighton's 19.49 World Junior record, Andre de Grasse's Tokyo Olympic gold in 19.62, and Kenny Benarek running sub 20 seconds 12 times in a single year. There was a very strong argument that these past few years have been some of the greatest in the history of the event. Now that may be true, but let's take a look back and actually compare this era of 200 meter sprinting to what we have seen in previous years to answer the question, are we entering the greatest era of men's 200 meter sprinting in history? Let's first take things back prior to the 1980s, specifically 1968, when the first legal sub 20 second performance was run at the 1968 Olympic Games, with Tommy Smith hitting 19.83 seconds to win Olympic gold. Note that John Carlos had run sub 20 seconds at the 1968 Olympic trials, but because his brush spikes were deemed illegal, the performance was never officially recognized as the world record. In the 11 years between 1968 and 1979, there would be just four athletes who would break the 20 second barrier, Tommy Smith, John Carlos, Don Quarry, and Pietro Minea. During these years, the four of these athletes ran sub 20 seconds on five separate occasions. Minea's time of 19.72 in 1979 would go on to break the world record that Smith set at the 1968 Olympics. And that record would stand for almost 20 years, lasting out two generations of athletes. The 1980s was a bang with a huge jump in performances, seven new athletes, a total of eight, including Manea, running sub 20 performances. It was led by Carl Lewis, who ran 19.75 seconds, celebrating almost 30 meters from the finish line in his race in what would have almost certainly been a world record. We also saw Joe Deloach run 19.75 seconds to win the 1988 Olympic gold. Between these eight athletes, they ran a total of 18 sub 20 performances between 1980 and 1989, more than double the total amount in the previous 11 years. Now, if the 1980s was a bang, the 1990s could only be described as an absolute explosion. Michael Johnson from the USA absolutely dominated this decade, leading the rest of the world into uncharted territory with sub 20 performances. We saw a total of 12 athletes run sub 20 in the event, 11 new ones as Carl Lewis managed to dip under the barrier once again. Remember how there were 18 sub 20 performances run during the 1980s? Take a guess at how many there were during the 1990s. 25, 30, 50, maybe 60? There were a total of 71 sub 20 performances run between 1990 and 1999 in the men's 200. That is almost four times as many run during the previous decade. This was all led by Michael Johnson, who obliterated the world record with a time of 19.32 seconds at the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta. Out of those 71 sub 20 performances though, while Johnson was responsible for 20 of them, Frankie Fredericks of Namibia ran 23 of those times as well, leading the way for both him and Johnson to really carry the event. But that shouldn't take away from some of the other guys like Mike Marsh, Otto Bolden, Maurice Green, and others who were just as dominant through that decade. After a high in the 1990s, we again saw another jump in the 2000s with 21 athletes running sub 20 seconds in the event. Of those, 17 were new with Johnson, Fredericks, Bolden, and John Capel all going sub 20 once again. But the number of sub 20 performances didn't necessarily make a huge jump like it did from the 80s to the 90s. Between 2000 and 2009, we saw 79 sub 20 performances, so a marginal increase from the 71 run during the 90s. But the biggest story of the decade was Usain Bolt. In 2008, Bolt ran 19.30 seconds to break Michael Johnson's world record in the event. But a year later, he went even better, running 19.19 .19 seconds at the 2009 World Championships. This performance literally was unfathomable as it began to push up against the 19 second barrier, something no one truly thought was possible. These final two years of the decade would really start what we now know as the Bolt era of sprinting. But enter the 2010s 
and this was yet another absurd jump in the event. This decade, we saw 48 athletes run sub 20 seconds, more than double what we saw during the 2000s. Now granted, there was a ton of overlap as the Bolt era starting in 2008 really shifted the event in a new direction. But along with that came an insane amount of performances. 178 sub 20 performances run by those 48 athletes. It really is at this point that sub 20 no longer is the marker of being considered an elite sprinter in the event. Almost 200 sub 20 performances is absolutely mind boggling. Though in terms of number of top performances, Bolt did lead the decade, it was actually his training partner Johan Blake who had the fastest time with 19.26 seconds run at the Brussels Diamond League in 2011. Because of his slow start and reaction to the gun, it's very likely that Blake could have broken the world record, but the world will never truly know. Now, in our current era, the 2020s, though we had some setbacks in the first year of the decade, limiting the amount of performances we actually could have gotten, I think these numbers are still going to surprise you. In just three years, 23 individual men have already run sub 20 seconds in the 200 meters. That's almost half the number from the 10 years of the previous decade. And that's with the world taking a year off in 2020. Along with that, we have 90 sub 20 performances in the event already. Again, that is already more than half from the 2010s and only three years have gone by so far. Noah Lyles is clearly leading this generation with his 19.31 American record run at the 2022 World Championships in Oregon. But he is followed closely behind by Aria Knighton with his 19.49, as well as guys like Kenny Benarek, Fred Curley, Andre DeGrasse, and Michael Norman, all in that sub 19.80 range. Now, looking back at all these decades of the 200, it's not so easy to just select which was truly the greatest and almost unfair to a degree. Like I noted, the sub 20 second barrier is not really the indicator of elite sprinting as it used to be compared to the 1980s when running sub 20 could literally make you top 10 in history. Granted, running sub 20 today is still no joke. I will say there is something to be said about what happened in the 1990s. Not only was Michael Johnson running 19.32 seconds, a time that still is mind boggling to this day, not only the 71 sub 20 performances run throughout that decade, but what stands out personally to me is that both Michael Johnson and Frankie Fredericks ran sub 20 seconds over 20 times each during that decade. Johnson dipping under exactly 20 times, while Fredericks did it 23 times. For some context, over 13 years, Bolt dipped under 34 times, Wallace Spearman did it 23 times in seven years, while so far, Lyles has run it 33 times in six years. And to add on, Johnson eventually ran sub 20 three more times in the 2000s, while Fredericks did it one more time himself. But again, you're talking about guys running in a different era. Johnson and Fredericks were setting the standard for what running a sub 2200 meter even meant. Sub 20 continued to get more commonplace as years progressed, so to see them do it so many times before guys like Bolt and Lyles were even running is insane. When Bolt ran his first sub 20 in 2004, Michael Johnson was long retired and Fredericks was closing out his career at the Olympics, actually getting fourth place in Athens. Plus, add on guys like Mike Marsh and Otto Bolden running 19.73 and 19.77 respectively, the 1990s were ahead of its time. With that said though, I think the Bolt era from 2008 to 2017 was absolutely insane. Blake, Dix, Gay, and all others running extremely fast. But honestly, this current crop of 200 runners with Noah Lyles, Arian Knighton, Kenny Benarek, and all these other guys, I think they're going to shock the world with some insane consistency and mind boggling times. Remember, we're only three years into the decade. Don't be surprised if we're knocking on the door of that world record sooner than we think. But of course, that's just my personal opinion. Go in the comments below and let me know what you think is the greatest era of the 200 meters. Do you think it was the 1990s, the Bolt era, our current era, or maybe another time? And also, what do you see as the future of the event? Will Bolt's record get taken down soon or will that 19.19 last for a whole other decade? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks for watching.